new to this channel, my name is Maze and we are building my Nissan 370Z that we got from Insurance Auto Auction. Now, before we get started, guys, I just wanted to wish you a happy New Year's, a happy 2021. Um, I know I'm a little bit late. I mean, it's already January 18, so I know I'm a lot late, but nonetheless, happy New Year's, guys. I wish you the best for you and your family. Thank you so much for the support uh, last year, and we're really gonna grind this year with a lot of stuff coming for the channel, and specifically for the Nissan 370Z. Um, now, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, if you guys watched my last two videos, we got a Nissan 370Z from auction, specifically insurance auto auction. It came down from Tennessee all the way down to Miami, and we are rebuilding the car. Now, it did have a little bit of frame damage, hence why it is taking a little bit more time than I anticipated. The car is still in the body shop. We are supposed to get it this week, so let's see how that plays out, but I will update you guys on what is going on with the car and what to expect in the future, and maybe you guys could provide me some of the feedback on what I should do with that car. Um, but a quick update on the car. It is at the body shop. It is getting pulled. Everything is fixed, so the frame damage was fixed. Uh, the guys welded the damage and we had to re-pull the body to be able to line up the bumpers and the wheel well. I did end up getting a spoiler. This one is specifically from eBay. Um, it is a Nismo style V1 spoiler. I am gonna have it linked in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing that kind of spoiler. Um, I'm gonna overlay a video real quick of the unboxing that I did for that spoiler. So check it out real quick. So here it is guys, this is the Nismo style two piece spoiler. That is the bottom piece, this is the top piece. And then it does come with uh, mounting hardware, so you got your double sided tape. Well actually, I don't know if this is tape, it seems like a gasket to me, the weather sealant, so that the water doesn't seep in when you attach the bottom piece. And then you also get screws to mount the, the top piece to the, the bottom piece, because if you could look right here, there's two one yeah there's there's two screws to attach the top piece to the bottom piece um now if you guys don't have any spoiler right now you will need to drill holes because the bottom piece as you guys could see i'm already damaging this oh my god as you guys could see these are the bottom screws that you need to utilize to attach this to your uh, 370z trunk this does not come with a template so if you guys don't have any spoiler attached on your 370z then you will need to cut out uh, a template and then you need to drill the holes on your trunk it does have a cutout for a third brake light so you will be able to it's just like the nismo spoiler it's, it's pretty much a replicated version i got the black painted one because i was gonna leave the top part black i'm only gonna paint the bottom part to match the car because i like the way the top looks when it's blacked out and later what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna completely carbon fiber wrap the top piece as for the quality i feel like it's a really good quality spoiler for the money um apart from being really dusty it's a it's fairly decent quality i mean it's not bad at all um, being eBay is actually pretty impressive. I was not expecting it to be this good of a quality for the 200 bucks spoiler, but it's surprisingly really good. There's no waviness within the material because a lot of these spoilers that you buy online, they have this cheap looking wave to them. It's usually the fiberglass spoilers that you buy. This one, I believe it's ABS. I mean, it feels like ABS plastic. I'm not too sure. Um, everything is in the description below if you guys do want to check it out. But now, I do love the way that spoiler looks for the money, and it is a bargain because if you get original Desmo, obviously it's going to be a lot more expensive. And there's nothing wrong with buying eBay parts. I know a lot of people are going to bash me for that, but you know what? A lot of people are still running that spoiler. I'm still going to run that spoiler. The, the spoiler is dropped off to the body guy. It's going to get painted. So by this week, I'll be able to show you the finished result. Um, and then once I get the car back, I'm going to do a complete overview of what has been done. 
Um, the next thing I wanted to mention is the under tray. I know some of you guys have messaged me on Instagram and I saw a few comments on my last video um, what I'm gonna do for the under tray. Um, my idea was that I'm gonna get an ABS plastic sheet and I'm gonna cut it to size. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the front bumper, I'm gonna place it on that sheet. So when it's placed on the sheet, we're gonna trace it out and then we're gonna cut it and then that is gonna be our under tray for the car. I'm gonna try to up, uh, overlay some of the images that I have in mind of the material that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna break down the cost and everything because I know a lot of you guys uh, don't wanna purchase these really expensive under shrouds and under trays that you need to be able to support the bumper because a lot of people, I know they have that sagging problem when they get a custom bumper. So I don't wanna have that problem. We are gonna build it and I'm gonna update you guys. I'm gonna do the complete breakdown of the cost of building it on the tray and we're gonna do it together. So stay tuned for that video guys. And the last thing I wanted to mention is we are gonna lower the car and we are gonna obviously get custom wheels for the car. So I, I cannot make up my mind on what wheels I want. Um, so I do need a little bit of help deciding what kind of wheels I should run. Should I go back to Forger Stars because I love Forger Stars. As you guys know, I had it on my Venom 250, I had it on my Ultima. So I was thinking maybe I should run it, but we are not gonna stance the car. I don't wanna have any kind of stretch. So I am thinking 305s in the back, maybe 275s in the front uh, with a 19s, uh, 19 by 11s in the back maybe, 19 by 10.5s in the front. So I'm still debating on that. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of wheel I should run on my 370Z, please drop a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback. But yeah, that was the wheels. As in terms of lowering springs, I am thinking of going H&R lowering springs or maybe ARK GTS lowering springs. I'm not too sure yet. I want to go fairly low, but not extremely low to the point where I'm scraping everywhere. More or less like a battle stance type of look. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys are going to stay updated with that as well. We're going to make a complete video on that. Um, but other than that, I am super pumped to show you the 370Z. It is coming along amazing. And the color, oh my god. I love that color. I always wanted a 370Z with that blue blueberry type of look and ended up getting that car. So we are gonna make it look insane and we're gonna call it the Venom Z34. But yeah, that was just a quick update video. I wanted to update you guys. So I hope you guys are excited to see the finished results of the car. Other than that, make sure you guys like this video and also make sure to turn on your bell notification. So whenever I'm gonna be posting these update videos, you guys will get notified. Anywho, that's it for me today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.